Okay, well today's freebies from work is this uh, little mini fridge. Don't know how it works or what, so we're going to open it up. We know the fan at the back don't turn, even though it should. At least I'm guessing it should. I think it's just a unit that uses circulating air to try and cool down the metal wax at the back. So, okay, we'll see what happens. I think that's all of the screws now. Got to pull up. Good. Well, it's got a heat sink and a small board. I think this motor doesn't turn no more. Or well, that there is fucked. One or the other. Um, it's just a heat sink. Just pulls air through that to cool it down. Well, that's possibly the world's well, simplest fucking uh, heat sink. Um, refrigeration system, in fact. Now, there's wires going to underneath here, so I'm guessing it's... It can't, this thing can heat as well. So, I'm guessing it's got a small heating element under there. Well, this doesn't have to have a quick sneak in, vegan. So, there could be something wrong with that. The fan don't turn. We'll have a look. Yep, it's got a heating element. Hmm. It's interesting. That stuff's a little bit haggard. But, uh, I suppose that's the heating element. It's got a temperature sensor. A ceramic, so that's heat conductive anyway, that thing is. Um, we we'll plug it in real quick look at. It's going to have to be cleaned. That's going to leave fucking shit all over my bed simply down there. Yeah. So I might just need a little bit of oil. Might work again. Should work again. We'll plug it in and see what happens. I know I've plugged it in once before. The lights on the back come on to tell you what it should be doing, but hmm. Okay, I've uh, turned it on and it's quite apparent what's wrong. That motor is spinning nowhere near fast enough. The uh, bearings need greasing apparently. So we'll uh, unplug that. Whack out these two screws. We'll uh, have a look. Well, it could just be caked in dust. So, take it apart, clean it all, put it all back together. We should be laughing. This could be the only problem with that. I might just turn that heating element on and see what happens. Uh, turn that on. No, it's fucking cold. Oh, fuck, yep. That's most definitely getting warm. <laughs> That's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Quite nicely. I can use this as a, uh, little, well, can't really use it for an oven. Use it as a little, uh, I don't know, dryer, parts dryer, maybe. Wouldn't work very efficiently, but, oh well. Or an I uh, what they're called. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's a little fan. Just a brushless pole motor thingy. Um, I'm guessing. Uh, let's just peel that sticker off, and there should be a little plastic clip covering up the motor shaft. And all oh, there is actually just protected by a little rubber cap. So, try and get something under there, I've got a knife. Here we go, here we have it. I can put something down there just to clean it up a little bit. Well, it could be the fact there's a lot of dust all over this thing, so it's probably that. This just happened to come from that teacher I had a dis... a, uh, argument with. <laughs> She was in her office and she chucked it out and, well, after it didn't work, my friend, he don't really care for it if it don't work, so I will have to get that out. And another means rather well, than a knife. Okay, I've got the fan apart and cleaned it. Now let's plug her in. And nothing's happening. Oh, the temperature sensor must have tripped it. No. What if I turn heat on? Oh, maybe the motor is a little bit uh, shagged.
not moving as much air as what it could it's not turning as fast as it could fucking hell that thing's hot I'll grease it up a little bit more and have another go it's definitely working a lot better it's really spinning very freely so it could just be the fact that the motor's got way too hot oh well can't beat it for free might just even be able to get another hello with the phone I might actually have a uh, bigger fan what's it like that in my box of goodies down here oh, maybe that's way too big <laughs> righty my little uh, speed up my thing for my bike is saying it's 18 degrees so I'm going to whack that in here it's coldish there so whack you there close the door and see if this thing actually does anything the fan is running albeit very slowly so I will, I'm going to have to get a new fan for it but I can guarantee to pick them up on eBay at, for pennies so hey for now I need to put you somewhere and wash my bed because I've just got dust and shit everywhere okay this is that little fridge which I got now two days ago I still haven't edited the, up, the video I would have actually done it and uploaded it by now but yeah, I'm too lazy oh well um, so he saw me get this taken apart and uh, clean up everything the fan was a teensy bit dodgy that only some of the windings inside the motor were actually working and the magnetic fields would line up with each other and it's got, it would either go and stick or it would just go and just hum at you it wouldn't do fuck all so um oh, unless you turned it when you turned it it would then spin up and it wouldn't spin as fast as what it should after uh, two days of it sitting up here wheezing itself along like an asthmatic fucking squirrel okay first thing that comes into my head uh, it kind of sits there you kind of hear it, it wheezes a little bit and uh, it was kind of getting on my nerves in a way that I knew it couldn't get to its full potential and show me really what it could do because to be honest I've never really had one of these before so I don't know how cold it should be in there you'll get some condensation on the back yeah sure but I wouldn't want to put any uh, sensitive I items on there because it probably would start to hurt but after today I decided fuck it I'll grab my knife out which incidentally me being a retard I've already tried to make this video once and I was trying to demonstrate so that this knife isn't sharp so I run my thumb along it a couple of times and now I've actually cut my finger thumb and uh, it's not cool. I haven't drawn blood, so oh well. I just began to feel it. Oh no, it actually hurts. Yeah, hand today because I've been rebuilding this axle for a bike which I've been donated. Oh well. Um, anyway, so I took the fan out. I tried to stick this behind the little circuit board to try and twist and pry it out, so I could have a look at it and see if there's anything. There was uh, some little capacitors on it. Well, uh, that's probably the problem. It's just got warm, and one of those things has popped. So I thought, hey, take it off. I bet I've got some circuit some circuit somewhere lying around which has got something I can take off and donor use as a donor and as I'm twisting oh shit cracked it so oh well that's fucked uh, put it back together plugged it in lo and behold it actually works it's working fucking brilliantly now I don't know if it's actually meant to but it's been doing it all day hasn't done a thing wrong running nice and loud which is actually kind of bad uh, what I want to do is I want to try and stick it down that corner either that or somewhere on top of that fan I might try and put a shelf up to be honest on a shelf somewhere well, I've got to get rid of that TV I've really really got to get rid of that TV it's fucking huge um, but there's nowhere to put it and it's very very fucking heavy so uh, yeah uh, when I put the temperatures what's it in there which isn't actually a temperature what's it it's actually a speedometer for a bike but I don't have any cable ties to put it on there at the moment so it's staying in my room and when I put it in there it was saying 18 degrees in the evenings in here a small little room and two of my light bulbs blown I'm telling you these things are those light bulbs are turning this room into a light bulb oven 
it gets very hot in here because of them. Anyway, we've got a heated uh, radiator up here, and in the evenings, uh, it's set on a timer, so it comes on at times and it goes off at times. In the evening, it's about 18, 16 degrees in here, hovers around about there. To be honest, I've never seen it at 17, but oh well. I put it in here, and I already know what the temperature is because I've checked it in the last video that I made and the video before that too. And that is not a K KA pineapple drink because it's been drunk, and I've now filled it with orange juice. Yum yum yum. 14 degrees. Bollocks, you were saying 13. I'm uh, not 13. 11 earlier. Wanker. But anyway, yeah, it was getting down earlier because I put it in the door. I put it in the door right next to this, so it began to warm up. And because it's not an external th thermometer in there, it's the inside's warmed up, and it's made the numbers go up, and now I have to call the whole fucking lot back down again. Oh well. But hey ho. It is actually working. I haven't put it in heat mode yet. I don't know what I'd use heat, for, heat mode for. I suppose you could use it as an incubator. Or... No, a part, I don't think it'd really work as a part to dry. Just, just doesn't seem feasible that it would get hot enough. And you can't get any moisture out either, unless you was to drill a hole in the top. Which, in case you let all your hot air out, so it wouldn't work. But what? 